Okay, so for all of y'all who don't know and for y'all that do know, I'm putting it down for the argument lead. This go measy. You feel me? Y'all make sure y'all go over there and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, jump in that comment, cause the chat be lit. Shout out to my people in the chat. And even you off in the back. If you ain't here where you at, it's the league. Most of all, make sure you go support. I mean support with your voice, with your funds. Cause it's gonna be fun. We got the Maya Court coming. We got the Black History Trivia coming. And most of all, the most anticipated, most waited for backstage of the debates. Oh yeah, it's a debate lead too. Make sure y'all go check it out. Peace within, peace out. This has been another moment in Black's rehab. Kim for Kim Fo. Let me see what they talking about. Let me. See what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Pull up a chair. Come over here to the round table. We about to break it all down. Say what? We about to break bread right now. So look, when you're dealing with a child that's transitioning from, from being an infant to a toddler, you know, say maybe terrible tools or um, three years old, you feel me? The one thing you want to keep in mind is this child has been using their tears in order to get what they want to i mean what they want up until now so in order to transition them we it's funny when i think about it because a lot of us in these days and time we are so advanced and progressive in other areas that we forget about other things you feel me like teaching a child to self-soothe and as well making sure a child doesn't go too far in their anger to the point you start to see that their emotional um, tirades is affecting their body. They say more than, at least more than 80% 80, 80 of illnesses is by way of basically just somebody being emotionally induced. So with that being said, family, let's find different ways to emotionally con make a um, connection with each other, communicate with each other. Let's teach our children the importance of emotions. Let's not just show our emotions when it's convenient or when we at our last uh, wit's end, you feel me? Let's not do that. Another thing I wanted to point out is like, or reiterate, the child has up until now only been getting things by way of their tears, right? We forgot, this part too, we forgot. Got to teach a child to self-soothe. As well, recognizing when a child is crying for too long. As you will notice, um, when you're not breathing, you blow your, your rectum out or your bottom. So you can imagine if a child is crying, when you're crying, you lessen your breathing. Because all of the mucus and all the tears fill up, you know what I'm saying, your respiratory. So... Just something to think about when people are telling you about Crohn's or um, abdomen issues or, you know, these chronic diseases. It's because in your head, you're in your head so much. And some of the experiences that these people have, like I can say, for instance, with my child, um, with him having issues with pain down there, every time we, we at one point would talk about changing his diaper, he would be upset. You know, he, he immediately, mentally would go to that place and it would set him off as though he was having a flare. And so I'm like, hmm, these flares are nothing but his emotions. Nothing but his emotions flaring up. Same thing. Emotional flares. So here it is. Crohn's is emotional flares. By way of a lot of times people, hmm, unfortunately, been allowed to cry too long. Peace within, peace out. I love you as myself, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Kimfo, Kimfo, let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Pull up a chair. Come over here to the round table. We about to break it all down. Say, we just what? Broke bread right now. Lovely day. Kimfo, Kimfo, let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about.
pull up a chair, come over here to the round table. We about to break it all down. So we about to what? Break bread right now. So as we usually do about this time, keep ourselves abreast on what's going on around the world. You feel me? So today, I've been hearing about this little trend on TikTok where they talking about how white people have slave documents in their house. So, we about to check it out. Um, I don't know about you, but this ain't my first time hearing about it, so I'm actually about to really just get into it this time. You feel me? Let's go. My post yesterday only got about 200,000 views, but the comments are full of white Americans saying they have documents sitting in their homes that are slave records. Man, let me... But what's even more concerning is how hmm. violently opposed most of these people are to getting rid of any of these documents. Oh, shit. Like, they don't even understand why I would even suggest they get rid of them. But Man. the comments on my post yesterday are also full of comments explaining why... Uh, people of color want and need these documents, such as this comment. Seriously, go back to my post from yesterday and the comments. Hold on, the comments say, I found my great grandmother in a slave record. Her legs were branded. Mm. Like I said, let me find out. Let me find out. You sitting over there holding people records in your house and you talking about. Oh, well, you know, you can't get mad at us for slavery. We wasn't alive during those times. But let me be holding on to some stolen man. Or let me be holding on to some evidence man. Or let me be talking about something I did from the man. Mm. Or my people did that I'm withholding evidence. Ain't that a charge? Like, let's go, man, bro. Let's go on. White people have plenty of documentation on how our family got here. But the documents that Obviously. people of color find their family are sitting in your attic. Alright, so I'm going to show y'all something, but I need you to remember two things. One, I donated it to the Tennessee State Museum in 2019. And two, this has only been in my family since the 1980s. We are not the original owners of this. Mm. In the 1980s, my great-grandfather worked at a bookbinding company. I was born in, in the 1980s. While working, he found a Wilson County record book from the 1830s. Because the record book was so old, he wanted to take the record book home, but his boss refused to let him. What? So instead, he cut a single page out of the book and framed it to preserve it. And this is the document. This is the bill of sale for an eight-year-old girl in Wilson County from 1837. And this still has the buyer's name on it, so somebody may be able to track down the family today. But here's what it says. December 3rd, 1836, $550 as full pay for a Negro girl aged about wow. eight. And she is now the property of a Miss Mary Faulkner Deet. The circuit court of the county of Wilson warned the Negro to be sound, healthy, and sensible, and slave for life. It mentions $550 as sale in 1836, which in today's money is equivalent to about $15,000. And for $15,000, a child was owned for life. For life. However, in this girl's specific case, she would have been 36 when the Civil War ended if she was still alive. All right, so yesterday I posted, which was effectively the receipt of an eight-year-old girl that was bought in the 1830s. Then I got about a dozen comments from people saying, oh, my family has documents like this too. One, wow. That is horrifying. Two, you need to immediately donate that to a museum. And three, before you donate it, make a TikTok showing what it is and explain what it says. So somebody suggested that a lot of white Americans that have slave record documents that have been passed down through their family may be hesitant to release these documents to the public based on fears of how the public will view them in the modern day. So if anybody has documents like this and you want to release them anonymously, I want you to email them to me. You don't have to give me your name or anything. Just scan the document and send me the... Uh, Hold up, Bobby. Hold the fuck up, Bobby. Now, I understand we trying to we trying to get the info out here. We're trying to get it out here. But at the same time, hold on, G. 
Like I said earlier, if you holding on to some shit, man, whatever. Turn it in. We gonna figure it out anyway. I'll put my email address in the comments, and then I'll make sure these documents become publicly available. His name. Hold on. Follow that thing. He he got the suffrage church on Instagram. If you holding on to some documents, or if you looking for some documentation, you feel me? You know, you know, you getting stopped off somewhere. I know for me, once I get to a certain part of my family, it's like, all right, who who before him? You know what I'm saying? Like, so we need to figure it out. So I can find these videos today on TikTok, and I want to say if your wife and your family have such records, please, please, I'm please. I'm going to link all this information down below so you can send them to him if you do not want to make it public yourself you can scan them like he says and just mail them to him so he can make them public making these records and documents public is very important very sacrosanct so the african-american people don't need that. if these documents are made public like they should be then african-americans will be able to find trace to who they are and where right. they're from identity is very important we all super should important be able to know who we are as a people it's not fair that documents and records that will be able to help them find who they are as a people and as individuals but it's just sitting in your house please if you have these documents make them public if you can't make them public on your own please find it in your heart to do so i'm mm -hmm. personally going to be monitoring his page i followed him on tiktok already i followed him on instagram so when there's information as far if someone reaches out to him and then they share a document i'm going to make sure i share it here as well channel the philosopher socrates says man know thyself he didn't say that for no reason he said that because it's important that we all know who we are if it's within our power to help people know who they are their true identities where they are from and their roots you gotta do that hold this kind of information from them although there is threat of his account getting banned by tiktok because he does a lot of you know good work like this but we know how tiktok works tiktok doesn't like when um people are speaking about history you know the history that we all need to know about and learn about mm -hmm. this kind of content offends that's sad TikTok right there that's sad account and they delete your account which is weird because tiktok is chinese owned i don't know why they're helping the white man do the white man's job if you're a content creator as well here on youtube or any other platform i think we should also share this information so that those who don't know should know that these are documents that should be made right. public so people that have such documents could be aware that okay there's something like this going on if they do not want to share it on their own then they can find a way to send to someone who would be willing to share it so let's get the word out there so let's be hopeful keeping our fingers crossed people are going to reach out to him so he can share those documents and or they are going to yes, make, gonna make it happen. public themselves thank you very much for watching as we click off let us not forget the information that was passed on this video okay i'll see you guys in the next one bye the ancestors gonna make it happen and you know i'm so grateful for that sister you know what i'm saying for putting this video together because at the end of the day it's necessary that we get that you know what i'm saying that information because like she said you know when one lacks an identity it, it be, it's darn near impossible to do do right in life you know because you're left to the ills of society at that point so um as much as some people are begging or i mean not begging or pleading with other humans to do what's right i'm gonna say you know i know the ancestors gonna do it they're gonna make it happen that's why these conversations are happening it's only a matter of time you know i'm gonna say it's already done and i'm grateful you know what i'm saying for what's already done for the work already being done and more rewards are soon to come because of what i have overcome and life obstacles um i have triumph you feel me i love you as myself ain't nothing you can do about it is we are one careful careful let me see what they talking about let me see what they talking about let me see what they talking about pull up a chair come over here to the round table we about to break it all down we just what broke bread right now peace within peace out lovely dang